can actually go to some exercises. Okay, now a rational numbers could also have operations. Okay, you can add rational numbers, you can subtract, you can multiply, and you can divide. I'm going to show you how it works. Okay. So the trick is um, you solve them like fractions. Okay. Just like how you did fractions, right? You solve them like fractions, but you put signs like how you put for integers. Okay. So these rules, oh. remember those bracket rules and all those rules, those are still applied. Yeah. Okay. But you first solve the fractions, meaning you may find those multipliers, make the denominator same. Okay. And after that, you check the signs. For example, let's let's do problem A. Okay. Now you have 5 over 12 plus negative 11 over 12. Correct. Now tell me, are the denominators same or different? Yeah, they're, they're the same. So do we need multipliers here? No. No, right? So what can we write yeah. now? All you have to do now is it is 5 plus negative 11. For, okay, denominator it's is minus. Correct. So because it's five, the sign. 5 minus 11 by 12. Do you agree? Yeah. Now, what is 5 minus 11? Tell me. Negative 6 over 2, um, 12. Good job. Okay. So, so the, if, the answer will be um negative 2. Negative 1 over 2. Negative, oh. Okay, 12 over 6 is 2. 6 over 12 is 1 over 2. Because see where, where the bigger number is. Denominator is a bigger number, correct? So when you try oh, yeah. to simplify, the 2 will go down, correct? 6 times 1, 6 times 2. Uh, correct? Be careful. Yeah. Did you understand this? Simple? Okay. Yeah. I'm done. Okay. Now let's go for problem C. Okay. What is problem C? Okay. Negative 7 over 15 plus negative 4 over 5. Okay. Now I told you we need to solve this like fractions. Correct? Now tell yeah, me. Yeah. So we need to multiply. Exactly. So which number will change? Will my first number change or the second number? Second number. Correct. What will the second number become? What is the multiplier? Can you tell me? Negative 12 over 15. Good job. Okay. It's negative 12 over 15. So you have negative 7 over 15 plus negative 12 over 15. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Now you have, what do you have to do? Denominator will remain same, correct? So you have to do negative yes, 7 you... plus negative 12. Do you agree? Just check the numerator. Yeah, but this. Sign. Exactly. Now we have some signs here. What would be sign in the center? Hmm? What will be the sign at the center? Minus. Correct. Why? It's the, it's the bracket. Um, rule, right? So it's going yeah. to be what? Next step, what should I write? Don't find the answer. Just tell me how should I write it. After simplifying the signs. Wait, what do you mean? I need to simplify. I just need to write here. Those numbers I need to write. I need to get rid of bracket and write. What should I write? Oh, then um, negative 7 minus 12. Negative 7, negative 12. Correct. Okay. What is negative 7, negative 12? Negative 7 and... Negative five? No. no. Positive five because no. Because twelve is great. What? Whenever the signs are same, what do you do? You oh, add or subtract? You um you add. Yeah, I have add. So so it's nineteen over fifteen. Is negative nineteen over fifteen. Yeah. Okay. You need to keep the same sign when whenever you are doing the addition. Okay. Okay. Other way to know this is let's say you have a number line. You're first going negative seven. 
then you are going negative 12. See, my answer is still in negative, but I need to add the numbers. Correct? So you can understand why the answer is negative 19 over 5, 15. So it's what is because, important? Um, is, yeah. Both the um both the um, numbers are negative, correct? And you're not yeah. multiplying. It's not negative three times negative four. This would have been twelve. For multiplication oh. and division, okay. We don't care about which number is bigger, which number is smaller, are the signs. I mean, we just care about if the signs are same, it's positive, signs are different, it's negative. In case of multiplication. In case of addition okay. subtraction, however, there are two rules. If the signs are same, you add and keep the same sign. If the signs are different, you subtract, but you keep them the sign of the greater number, correct? Yeah, I remember doing this unit. I got um 14 out of 23 on this. Oh, Here's a school? quiz. Yeah. When was this? Before we started classes or was it during our classes? A month ago. <laughs> A month ago. Okay. Yeah, so you have to be careful. Okay. You have to multiply, divide, add, subtract. Especially integers, only the sign is important. Okay. Well, most of you will mess up in signs. And for rational numbers, you need both. You need knowledge of fractions, you need knowledge of integers. The integers won't leave you that easily. Okay. Is this clear? Yeah. 